So that's the initial sketch, just a thumbnail sketch of it. Again, here's the paper to find the horizon line with the zero at the top, nine down at the bottom. Putting the mark at three, and just slide it down, repeat it. Two of these lines, and just make sure to give yourself a, a pen line for that so it stays up on there, nice and easy. It's going to be a vanishing point to the left. A vanishing point to the right. So you're kind of starting with the front, front right part of this here. So just, and again, keep the lines light enough but accurate. So they make sure they go to the vanishing point. And the first square that you do is a random measurement of how big you want to make this. And just extend it down a little bit. And then you just need to find the center of that just to start the midpoint. This can be pretty light because it's just there to help for the measurements. So from this corner to here, it's going to be that. And from here to the right vanishing point, I'm just going to extend it so that's going to be the center column for the rectangle. So these two points, it's going to match this one to here, this one to here. And that's your last one right back there. Let's go this way. So now I just have to project one forward and backward. So I just need to find the center. Cross the diagonals here. And right at that midpoint. And that's going to be the midline. Extend that a little bit. here to here, and it might come off your page depending on how far it gets projected on the foreground one. So here's the back of it, and this one's coming forward to here, to here. You can see it's going to connect here, so we'll just adjust that a little bit. So you're getting the foreshortened view of that coming all the way to the beginning. So now I can just go ahead and heavy this part up with the pen. Have it. So the X, I guess, has started with one, depending on the shape, it projects itself. And now I'm just going to take it vertically. Come on down there. 
I'm going to heavy this up as I'm here. So I have to taper down. So you can see it. Just lining the paper up so it fits right down there. See it has the section going down all the way to the edge going down beneath this part. <clears throat> and just kind of heading up the lines that are closest to you on the picture plane. <clears throat> 